guys hi I am back and I'm actually filming this this ending part of the video a little bit later than I would have liked significantly later than I would have liked I'm gonna start by saying I got COVID now I can't really pinpoint and say that I got it from book bonanza but there the reason why I got tested is because I did have um, cold like symptoms and which I thought was just my allergies acting up but I saw like in the book bonanza group a lot of people were saying well not a lot a few people were saying that they got COVID and they were like I think you guys should get checked if you are you know experiencing any symptoms and so I went I actually took a at-home test and it was positive and then I like I had places to be okay I had things I had plans to do this week so I was like you know what let me go to CVS to get a another test to see if it's like you know positive or not and it was positive so my things to do just did not get done so I'm I'm still in quarantine right now I'm feeling a little bit better enough to like film and like put makeup on and stuff but COVID definitely kicked my butt I would not recommend zero out of ten <laughs> I also want to say that nothing that I say in this video, any of the negative things that I have said is to tell you not to come. In my opinion, I think that it was an amazing event, even despite the negative things that we have experienced. And I don't think that anyone sharing their experience that happens to be negative is telling you those things with the expectation that you will just say, no, I'm not going. I have not been to anything outside of the book world where I can just go up to a person and talk about something and we're instantly friends. We're gushing about these things because we are both passionate about the same thing. I went to this event by myself, like in Texas. I've never been to Texas. I've never been there. I am an introverted person. I don't like to go up to people. I don't like to talk to people. And to be able to have people to come up to me and just kind of like, I felt like I belong. I felt like I found my troops. That in itself is priceless and despite the negative things that have happened here hopefully those things will get fixed but it's it's just a precautionary tale to let you know okay so maybe you can't take your eye off your books maybe you can't just set your things down because you know there are people that steal but I would say in my opinion that there were way more good people at this event than bad what we're not gonna do is let those people take away what this event stand for this is an event that was made for charity purposes it's not supposed to be about procuring all of the books this is supposed to be a charity event so i had a good time and if you are seriously considering going to book bonanza i say go for it i say go for it and if you see me definitely come up to me and say hey i watched your video and i'm here because you said to come and i'm having a good time i'm glad i you know I want to hear those conversations because I'm going to be there. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. Okay, let's get into these these books that I sent myself. We're going to get into the first box. We have a Liz Kova Duel of a Vampire Lord. I don't think I... Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to see a Liz Kova. Or ha no, I didn't get to see her, so this is unsigned. We also have Lucy Score's books. Um, oh, these two. I didn't get a chance to see Lucy Score. I didn't even get a wristband. Those things went fast. And then her volunteer was just like, I don't know why she even had all those wristbands. <laughs> She's not going to get through all of these people. And I was like, I just immediately, as soon as that volunteer told me that, I took it off my list. I was just like, I'm not even going to bother it with it because I know that she signs a little bit slower. So um, I brought my uh, Sierra Simone, A Lesson in Thorns book and this one. No, I didn't get the sign either. Um, Anna Huang, King of Wrath. I think, yeah, this is signed. This was actually, I think, a pre-order. And it's so beautiful. Look at that. I like the white cover. It's just so simple that it's cute. Oh my gosh. Meeting this author she is so freaking cute i had to take a picture with her like several times because she had on a little tiara she was everything that i wanted to be i really now i want to write a book i want to be an author now like i want to be an author because first of all her covers are stunning i didn't even pre-order any of these books from her but like she sold me on those books and i was just like I felt bad because she was saying, are you excited to see everybody? Like, what's going on? Like, how are you feeling? And I was like, everybody that I wanted to see had wristbands and I'm waiting. I'm waiting to go see them. And she was like, well, I'm not wristbanded. Like, you should definitely take a look at my books. And I was like, you're right. 
I'll take three. So I got a few. You might see them in like uh, they might be spread it out because I don't think that put them in the same box. But this one is the Assassin in 5F. This is Nana Malone. Gorgeous woman. She is so freaking beautiful. Like, I want that to be me one day. I really want that to be me. But this cover is really cute. And I love the idea of a black female assassin. It sounds interesting. I'm definitely going to read this. Another Sierra Simone book. I brought only two for her because I was skeptical that I was going to get to see her anyways. And I was right. The thing that I am most disappointed by is that I did not get to see Jennifer Hartman. Oh my god. I'm so like I was like out of every book that I brought I need to see Jennifer Hartman. I didn't even see her table. Like <laughs> I didn't even see her table. Uh, let's see. I brought three books I think to get signed so it was just this series here and a special edition of still beating which has a nameplate but i wanted it to be signed i brought four books of colleen hoover's to get signed i only brought the books that i had read that's what's the way of me narrowing it down i own way more books from colleen hoover but i was not going to be you know bringing all of those books and i didn't even know if i was going to see her i did not get a chance to see her so i'm glad i only brought four I brought this book by Tilly Cole and I don't think I got to see her so I didn't get it signed either. So another book series that I am really disappointed that I couldn't get signed is the Dreamland Billionaire series. I haven't read it yet but the fact that I have the entire series and I have been keeping up with purchasing them, not necessarily reading them, buying and reading is a different set of hobbies but I really wanted to get her to sign them. The thing is there was actually an opportunity because I walked past her table and I walked past her table and no one was there. And I went up to her and I was like, I was looking at my list like, what do I have? Do I have a pre-order with her? Like, what's going on? And I saw that I had brought books. But the thing is, I stupidly made the strategy that for any wristbands that I had that was like 300 and up, I was going to put it in my suitcase and check it at the bad check and then I would switch out. You do not have a chance to, to, to switch out. That should not be a strategy. I will never do that again. Please don't do that. Keep all of your books with you on the signing floor because you're not gonna have a chance to switch out. It's, it's, it's not enough time. And then also, you're not gonna be sure which who's gonna have a line and who isn't and sometimes you can just easily jump into a person's line get your stuff signed and move on with or without a wristband so everything needs to be on your person so you get it signed and you move on okay so that's everything in the first box as you can see it did not hold that many books for $55 but I mean, I already said my complaints about it. Okay, so on to the next box. I was able to fit a little bit more in this one. So this was technically a pre-order that I swapped because I pre-ordered a love letter to Whiskey by Candy Steiner. And then when I got there, I wanted this edition better. This is the, um, it's like a special edition or the anniversary edition. I could see that it got a little nicked in the, the box, but it's my fault because I didn't use bubble wrap at all. I was trying my best to get as many books into the box as possible. But I was in the line when they handed me the, the original cover and I saw this. I was like, can I get this one instead? And I just paid the difference. But this is just so beautiful to me and it's just so simple. And might I mention, Candy Steiner is just so sweet. I absolutely love this lady. I have not read her books yet, but she was so cool. I took a like a shot of whiskey with her. And like, I have a picture of me like drinking it and like the aftermath of it. And then she's just like, just like peacefully drinking it. And I'm just like, like dying over here from like this like fire that went in my throat. But it was just so much fun. She's an amazing person. And also, I got a bookmark that has a free book on it. So I'm definitely going to, I'm going to need to like look this up right away because I heard that a lot of these have um, expired already. I think another one that I'm like somewhat mad that I wasn't able to get signed. This is something that I also brought from home. This is Sophie Lark's latest book. And this is Anastasia. I haven't read it yet. And I know that she often comes to a polycon, which is closer to me. But I, I will probably get her to sign that book there if I'm able to get tickets for next year and then also I have to get Minx so that's her newest book but I didn't get a chance to meet Sophie either I got a wristband for her but they were like 400 
and I was like, I'm not even gonna try. Okay, so next up is me being ridiculous and buying complete series from an Arthur. Unfortunately, these were not signed. This was one of the Arthurs that was a big ticket person. Their line never had any laps in it, to my in my opinion. And after a while, once it got to like the end of the day. I had to like put my foot down and was like, look, just give me my books. Like, because they kept saying, um, come back, come back when there's a lapse, I'll let you in. Cause I was just like, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Like, please, like I have a pre-order. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. Like, and like at first they was like, can you come back in like 20 minutes? If there's no line, we'll let you in. I came back and then like it, the line was longer. So they was just like, I'm so sorry. You're not gonna be able to like get in the line today. And I was like, okay can I just have my books and they was like they're not signed and I was like I won't be here tomorrow I would rather have unsigned books than no books actually so I ended up you know going to Jana. actually didn't she sign let me see I could be making this whole thing up I don't think yeah this was this was it this was um this was not who I was thinking about I think it was some someone else that starts with an A. Once I get to their name, I'll remember. But this was one that I had to tell the person, like, I had to have the volunteer go and grab them for me. I was not able to get in her line, and she was right beside Catherine Cowles. But I just kind of gave up. I don't think all of these are signed, but I did look in a few, like maybe three of these books are signed, which is very unfortunate because I spent a pretty penny from this Arthur to like not have any of them signed like I wouldn't even I would not have even wanted to wait in line for all of these to be signed to me it's just not that's not special to me I feel like I want to see you sign one of the books maybe and maybe personalize them but like they could still be signed like all of them could be signed and then you can just personalize them if if I want them to or leave one blank but to have to sign all of these books I wouldn't want that like I feel like you could get through way more people if you pre-sign them but that's just my opinion and I don't know what goes into that stuff but like I personally would have just preferred all of them to be pre-signed and then like personalized one maybe but okay so let's go over these welcome to the dark side good gone bad and I love these covers that's why I got it y'all dead man walking lessons in corruption after the fall Inch and Lies. This is uh, another series. I got the full series for this as well. This is the Evolution of Sin series. This is book one. This is The Affair. Book two, The Secret. Book three, The Consequence. And then I also got this one, which is King of Iron Hearts. I don't even know what that book was for. I just got it. I I went crazy with her pre-order. So I always wanted to try Catherine Cowell's books and she had a really good uh, like sale for the pre-orders. And so I was like, this is the, you know, this, this is a better bang for my buck. You're getting a signed edition for cheaper than just buying it off of Amazon. So I got two of her series. This is the Tattered and Torn series. So I got all of the books here. It's five books. And I think it was maybe $50 for this. I don't, I don't even remember what the deal was. I have Hidden Waters, Tattered Stars, Fractured Sky, Shattered Sea, and Fallen Embers. And then we have the Wrecked series. Like these are the covers. I'm just going to show it really quickly. We have Reckless Refuge. Okay, that be that's better. Then we have Perfect Wreckage. Then we have Beneath the Wreckage. Then we have Wrecked Palace. Yeah, Wrecked Palace, and then Reckless Memories. I love that they had, that she had the deal. And Catherine Cowles actually is really, really nice. When I saw her, like, she signed every last one of these books while I was in line. Her line went extremely slow, and I see why, because she signed these books one by one. It was, and she, here's the thing, she is the sweetest person. She is the sweetest person probably on earth and she dresses like the way that she dresses like she's just like pastel and like that that girl but her line is really really slow she will she definitely cares about each and every one of us like individually she's gonna ask you questions she's gonna talk to you she is the sweetest person but that line was long but i definitely really liked her and she even was like thank you so much for your support like i felt like she meant that like i know everybody says stuff like that 
but I felt that she meant that from her heart. I might be gullible though. <laughs> so on to the final box. This one had a lot in it too. I think the first one was like very, very like scarce of books. Okay, so another book that I brought that I didn't get signed was Ashley Jade. I wasn't really pressed because I haven't read this book yet, but I was like, I, I love the cover and I knew that I wanted it signed, but I don't really care. I actually pre-ordered these two right here. This is by Harper L. Woods. She also goes by Adelaide. Adelaide Forest, I think. I actually had a wristband for her and I was able to sneak in her line pretty early on. And the, here's the thing. Well, actually, no, it was at the end. It was at the end, but like I was able to sneak into her line and I don't think I was like behind, like two people behind. I was the third person in line and she was going so slow. She was definitely Catherine Cowles in it. That's going to be the thing. When you're like really like appreciating each individual person, that's Catherine Cowsing it because, like, yes, it's really nice when you're the person. But if you're, like, the third, fourth, fifth person in line, you're going to be like, girl, you, like, we're going to have to, like, move it a little bit. Like, if I was a volunteer, I'd be all like, okay, Catherine, we got, we got, we got a lot of people in line. Like, come on, we got, like, I know you love your fans. We got, we got, you know, we got to speed it up a little bit. But, um... I have the first book in the series and I wanted to get the second one. I actually met her at a Polycon, so I, I didn't need to meet her again. So when the lady like asked me, do you have a pre-order? I said yes, and then she handed it to me while I was in line. And like I was waiting to like get up there to meet her for her to sign it. And the lady, when she handed me the book, she was like, oh yeah, they're pre-signed. I walked off. I like, I didn't... <laughs> I did not need to see her again. I saw her at a Polycon and I was like it was at the end So I knew I had to get to other people. Oh, okay Y'all remember the story where I was telling you like there was one person I kept having to go back and they kept saying we'll let you in line 20 minutes later The line never gave up. It was Amo Jones That's who it was and then even at the end like I I kind of kept pressing I was like can I just get the books and they was like it's not signed Is that okay? And I was like at this point it's gonna have to be I would rather have my books even if it's unsigned and that's what they did they they made me go to like the end like the side like right beside her as she like signed everybody else's book and like I was just like looking on and then like eventually they just brought me my books that were not signed which like it's fine but like these are limited edition I would have hoped they were like pre-signed like it really sucks hopefully I'll get to see her like at our future event and we can get it signed but like I really wanted the signed <laughs> I had a pre-order from another author her name is Terilyn Mitchell I like to like kind of scope out the people of color and I try to do my part in you know kind of like supporting their pre-orders and going to their booths to make sure like you know that they have people at their table I want to make a difference and so one of the people that I saw was Terilyn, Terilyn Mitchell she was really really nice I got a few books from her actually let me see are they all in here first of all i saw these covers and i was in love because i really seldom see black women when it comes to like the royalty seat like series in a book series like when it comes to like royalty normally you see white people and you know but like seeing them in like these like royal gowns i i never thought i would see it happen so I had to get it. This is book one, The Princess of uh, Sashella. And then this is book two, The Weight of a Crown. And they are both really, really beautiful covers. And then I also got some other things. We got Double Talk. I really like the cartoon cover here. Then we have the Lou and Jace duet. And then we have Wrong Places, which I really love this cover. Yeah, I really love this cover. I had another book by Emil Jones that I did not get signed, The Crown Duet. This is uh, one that I brought myself. So this was also one by Nana Malone. It's the woman that I mentioned earlier that had the crown on her head. I saw this and I like when she was telling me to like check out her stuff, I saw this and I was I knew I needed to get this because this is freaking gorgeous. I love the dress. 
I love everything about this cover. It's so beautiful. She also gave me the opportunity to spin the wheel to get like some free items. And one of the items that I got was a um, a free book. I actually won the free candle, but I was like, can I get a free book? Because I did not want to be having a candle going to Jamaica. I just didn't want to chance it. So I got the Air Gentleman Rogues novella. I also got another Anna Huang. And this is King of Pride. This is also signed. I think Anna Huang was also an author that I had to to request they just go and get it for me and i think she pre-signed them okay so one of the authors that was not wristbanded at least at first was uh fiona cole so she was like one of my first stops i did pre-order quite a lot from her and might i say if i was ever an author I would want to be in that situation where they underestimate me and don't give me a wristband at first. And then the fans would come in and they would show so much love that they would be like, oh, we better recognize. Let's give Sigrid a wristband because look at all these people that came here for her. We need to get, yes, go Fiona. That's what you do. You show them, show them that you're worth that wristband girl. Okay, so I got this series. I'm just gonna go really quickly. We have Voyeur. I hope I said that right. Uh, teacher. This one's probably my favorite. <laughs> He's so cute. Another. Savior. I also brought a copy of Warrior. So I have another signed copy. Then we have Liar. And we have Lovers. I also met H.D. Carlton. And she signed my book. Um, and this is Does It Hurt? I actually had quite a few orders, uh, pre-orders from her. But for some reason, there was like an error. And I, you know, just requested that they be shipped to me. So I'm still waiting on those. But uh, this is like the alternate cover. Then I met B.V. Easton. I have not read this um, this uh, book yet. But the cover, I just really like the leaves for some reason. I don't know why. It just... It's not leaves, the clovers, but I really, really like that. And so I actually personalized it. She said, Sigrid, you're my angel. But she was really nice in person and I just really enjoyed meeting her. I also met Elizabeth O'Rourke. I think that's how you say it, O'Rourke. And I got a few books from her as well. And I don't, I think that this was the one um, person that I said, I had like a really low number. It was like 80 something. And like, I, I never saw that there are, their wristband thing changed on the tv it was still like zero to 20 or something and i was like wow they're never gonna get to 80 and i like after like a couple of hours it was still there i was like there's no way so i went to go investigate and they just let me into the line they was like we ain't doing wristbands well actually the person was confused the volunteer was like i'm not sure if they're doing wristbands but you can just get in line so that's how i got my pre-order but i got the parallel series so book one is parallel book two is intersect Book three is Across Time, and book four is Across Eternity. Hey, okay, and that is all of the books that I got from Book Bonanza. I do want to show you guys the aftermath of my little, like, poster. At first, I actually accidentally left this in my, like, hotel room, and then, like, my friend was just like... I think you should go get it because like you paid for it i really want to hang this up somewhere in my book room here i didn't get a ton of signatures like i said i was really like focused on like pre-orders but i was able to go up to like a lot of people that either i was already in their lines and i just had them to sign it or if a person just did not have any lines whatsoever like no one at their table i went up to them and got them to sign it and i think i'm gonna do this for like from now on for, like for future events i definitely want to get something signable that i can like hang up or probably not hang up because like i'm running out of space already like with this and maybe like a shirt or something for them to sign because i i would hate to be at a convention personally and there's no one at my table like i just kind of empathize with that person and just i just can't imagine like their thoughts because i know that i suffer from depression and i can be my own like worst enemy like the things that i save to myself internally will be a lot worse than what anyone outside of my mind can say i know what my mind would be telling me in that situation and so that's why i always try to make sure that everyone feels supported appreciated and that they deserve to be there like whatever i can do to kind of make a person not go through what i feel like i would be going through so just some of the signatures that i see i think Lynn mitchell candy steiner uh, Catherine Cowles, 
Katrina Jackson, I forgot to tell you guys, I met Katrina, Katrina Jackson. And the thing is, I had some of her books on my shelf. I just never pulled them. I didn't remember that I had books from her. But I have Office Hours and I have The Hitman Family, I think, or something like that. Elizabeth O'Rourke, uh, Fiona Cole. Uh, some of these I don't really like. Oh, B.B. Easton. But the rest of them I don't really recognize. But here's like a close-up. That is everything that I have from Book Bonanza. I had an amazing time. And I hope that if you guys have any questions, you would feel comfortable asking me in the comments because I do try my best to reply to everyone's comment. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.